Sesio. Yes, sir. Good day, everybody. Good day, Olivia. Good day, Manoj. Good day, Srikant. Fanoi. Arvind Nair. Good morning. Kevin, good day, mate. <laughs> Mr. Kumar. Namaste. I can see Vikas. Namaste, brother. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Stephanie. Adli, how are you? Good. Hi, Jenny. We are expecting some more people to be online. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Michael. Hello, Liz. Marina. Hello, Anil Sharma. Hello, Perihan. Hello, Gamze. Hello, Nazle. Hello, Sri Lakshmini. Namaste. Very good, very good. Yeah, we are expecting more people to be soon. We are already 61. Yeah. Maybe by that time I can open the one videos so we can have some fun. Soon. Let's see. I can show you Cappadocia. I am gonna take you on a magical journey. Today, we are visiting Cappadocia. This entire area was once covered with volcanic ash. Over time, the ash eroded and these large, breathtaking fairy chimneys formed. These fairy chimneys were once used as dwellings, churches, and even castles. After being expelled from Jerusalem, the early Christians were looking for a secure place. They sought refuge in the underground cities of Cappadocia to hide from the Romans and establish the first Christian colonies in the area. Some of the fairy chimneys are still inhabited today. You can even rent a tastefully renovated cave house as a condo or a hotel. If you like hiking, biking, and other outdoor activities, you're gonna love Cappadocia. There are so many trails surrounded by vineyards and gorgeous scenery. Of course, the best way to admire the magic of Cappadocia is by hot air balloon. From a thousand feet, it looks more like Mars than Earth. Finally, don't miss the underground cities. Some of them go 18 floors underground. The feeling in here is magical and bewildering. There are tunnels, churches, and enough room for 30,000 people. Discover all this and more in Turkey, home of Cappadocia.
Thank you guys for uh, for great times. Uh, Kit says online, guys. Let me see Kit says online. I think she will be here soon. Hello, everybody. Let me start. I'm going to here online. Uh, we will welcome to her. Uh, my name is Murtaza Kalander. I'm the EuroAsia chapter head for IIDWP. Uh, today we have a uh, Zoom meeting for the, uh, we will do the presentation for IIDWP uh, event in Istanbul. And uh, we have also great news. We have our ceremony also in Istanbul, uh, end of the, our event. We have very good uh, farm trips, and uh, we have also great opportunity to meet the 30 different ambassadors already confirmed here. Um, Ms. Özge will do the small presentation. We will not make it boring today on a small presentation. And later on, we have a lucky draws for uh, four people. I'm sure you know uh, you will love it. And later on, we will receive the question and answer. I see we have some of our chapter heads here. Uh, I see Kevin, Warren, Eli, who is online with pictures, you know, I, I'm sorry if I missed it on the first page. Uh, Özge, welcome. Hello, Murtaza, welcome. Uh, let's start with your presentation. Later on, we will receive the question and answer when the kids here uh, will come and she will make a little speech also. Uh, yes, okay. please. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, please, tell us, please tell us the, uh, what is the latest news. Yeah, for sure. Actually, the latest news, uh, which one is the award ceremony. Uh, first of all, I would like to mention uh, in my presentation, the dates are changed. Uh, and the new date would be the 12th of September. And the second news uh, is a great one uh, for the Turkish Airlines, actually. Uh, they have a really great offer regarding the international flights. I'm going to mention all of them uh, on my presentation. So please, if uh, all people can listen to me carefully, yeah. I'm sure that they will like it as well. The question will come from your presentation, am I right, for Lucky Road? Exactly, exactly. And uh, it will take around like 15 minutes maximum. So please, uh, everybody, uh, kindly bear me uh, this period. So I, I will be more also, than happy. Uh, also, I like to mention that we have already uh, received application for our, our event from uh, 89 countries, 77 uh, application uh, from we, uh, we received for our event and farm trip in September. That's so good, you know. I'm so happy to receive that number for our event. I'm ho I will hope to see, see all of you in Istanbul. Let's start with this, yeah? Thank you so much, Mr. Murtaza. So I would like to welcome you all again for your participation for an informative presentation by me. And uh, please do not go anywhere after the presentation because uh, our lucky draw will be available at the end of the presentation with many prizes waiting for you. So again, kindly be me around, five, around like 15 minutes. So just let's start. Okay, so let's start with the slide one. Our IADVP Eurasia event uh, is getting closer, as you know, and it will be held in Istanbul between the dates of 6th to 9th of September 2021. And we are expecting to host around 350 wedding professionals from all around the world, 25 ambassadors, 25 international vendor speakers and 150 local participants, including some professional wedding planners, tour operators and hoteliers from many luxury and chain hotels. And let's uh, skip the slide too. So uh, maybe you don't, you don't have an enough idea uh, about the IADWP. So what is IADWP? The IADWP Association is established in 2008 and since its foundation 
it has hosted more than 43 events in many countries with more than 4,500 participants. And one of the biggest aim is to train all the wedding professionals and Roman stroll industry representatives by creating an educational platforms for them and also giving them opportunity to promote their business and join all potential events as well. And the president and the founder of the IADWP is Mrs. Fitzia Morales. And the president of the IADWP Eurasia chapter is Mr. Murtaza Kalendash. And at the moment, as you can see, we have uh, 39 confirmed chapter heads. And again, we started to uh, get more chapter heads application. We are going to evaluate it uh, and uh, send uh, back them to confirmation. You know, being a chapter head will always get you a new venture. <clears throat> and markets will be open for you. So we started to grow up a big family, so you can be also one of them. So when we talk about today's most trend and pro profitable field named destination weddings, the global industry revenue is around $300 billion, according to recent statistics. So it means the destination wedding industry has a very great potential. And especially many Indian and Arabian weddings are described as the luxury ones in Turkey. I mean, there are several reasons of this increment. I will talk about it in my next slides. So uh, you may ask, why Turkey is an attractive destination for a wedding? To be honest, the number of foreigners holding their weddings in Turkey. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Holding their weddings in Turkey. And hotels and all the wedding venues in Turkey have become the preferred destination for weddings by many local and foreign people. Hotels went to improvements in banquet services as they began working with award winning chefs. Here you can see there are lots of reasons to organize your wedding in Turkey. Most important ones, if you would like to mention, it's the Turkish Airlines direct flights. We can count many different wedding concepts and enough places to accommodate thousands of guests. Here you can see the most popular wedding areas, except for Istanbul. To be honest, there are three popular places come to my mind. First one is Bodrum. Bodrum is an area in the Asian side and famous for its crystal blue waters and white buildings covered with Begon Villa. This area is always ready to host many open area luxury weddings. And the second one is, which is the most favorite one, Cappadocia. is an area in central Anatolia and the area has fantastic and historical wedding venues, cave hotels, vineyard options to plan an unforgettable wedding. And the last one is Antalya. I'm sure that all of us, you know, in a, is an area in the Mediterranean side and famous for its nature, beauty, luxury hotels, and many historical places as well. This city has also hosted many luxury Indian weddings so far. So let's go back to our destination weddings and Roman travel industry conference that will be held in Istanbul. You know, Istanbul is the only city that resides on two continents of Asia and Europe at the same time with spectacular Bosphorus view. And it's worth to attend to discover the city on September as well as, you know, the weather will be perfect. So one might ask, if I join this event, what will be the benefits? There are lots of benefits. Firstly, you will have a chance to meet with well-known international speakers and well-known wedding professionals from all around the world. And you will have a chance to face-to-face -face communication with participants through B2B networking system. And you can schedule your appointments with many hosted buyers and wholesalers via online pre appointment system as well. And of course, there are several fan trip options so that 
you will both enjoy and discover the wonderful locations and special wedding venues as well. So here again, we come to the main attractions. I would like to emphasize you again. We expect 350 wedding professionals, 25 ambassadors, 25 well-known speakers, 150 local participants. And at the moment, we have we have 12 team of globally well-known speakers from all around the world. And one of them is our esteemed IADWP president, Mrs. Kitsio Morales. We do have also ambassadors once we take their final confirmation and then also share with you. These are the surprise ones. So we can go ahead and talk about the main event program now, just to summarize you. On 6th of September is your arrival day, and we will have a welcome dinner only at night. So there is no conference on 6th of September. This is your arrival day. On 7th of September, the second day starts with our opening ceremony and continue with B2B meetings and conferences. And many Turkish tourism authorities, ambassadors and ministries are expected to give their speech during the opening ceremony. And the third day is 8th of September. B2B meetings again will be continued and it will be the final night in Istanbul after the surprising gala dinner. And for the final day is 9th of September. We have a half day Istanbul city tour that will be organized only for late departure flights. And the journey will continue with wonderful fan trips. So let's talk about our fan trips. Let's talk about the first one. Eight-day destination wedding event and fan trip to Istanbul and Antalya. After a half-day Istanbul city tour, you will fly to Antalya and you will have a chance to discover some historical places, such as Antalya of Timarina, Clock Tower, Hedrin Gate, Broken Minaret, Fidelis Tower. This program is also scheduled to visit two special surprise wedding destinations and exclusive romance travel venues that you will get to enjoy while having an inclusive accommodation in Antalya. By the way, again, it's worth to mention that after receiving many requests from many hosted buyers, we have extended the early birth date and revised the date as 17th of June 2021. So we have extended our early birth as one more week because we have started to receive more positive way requests. You know, the, the deadline uh, was normally today, but now we have expand, extended. So you can again benefit from this special rate and our early birth special rate is 335 euro for the Istanbul Antalya fan trip. And you can find a detailed info about our itineraries from this link. And our second fan trip, you will fly to Bodrum where globally Famous weddings take place at most elite venues on the crystal waters of agency. While you will continue on the Pearl of Mediterranean, you will enjoy in Antalya with all, all inclusive concepts again. This program also offers the very best three wedding destinations globally and the best spots for romance travelers organized exclusively. And again, we have an early bird, which one is extended again. Now our special rate is 445 euro till 17th of June, 2021. And after the fam trip, we're gonna organize our destination wedding award ceremony on 12th of June. I'm sorry, the 12th of September. I'm gonna mention it in my next slides, don't worry. So here is our fan trip trip. 
İstanbul, Kapadokya, Antalya, my favorite one again. You will have a chance to visit the authentic cave hotels, biggest open air museums of Cappadocia, named Göreme, and they dating to tens of centuries describing the life of Jesus Christ and most experienced the hot air bone trip. In addition, I'm sure that you will enjoy and go to wine shops in Urgut for wine tasting. And the last stop is the most favorite one, Three Beauties. Three beautiful fairy chimney with their hats, which are the symbols of Cappadocia in Cappadocia in continuation with the Antalya palm trees. And a lot of great venues at the venue are waiting for you as well under the cave. Again, we have an early bird still and which is 395 euro till 17th of June 2021. And here is our final fan trip, Istanbul, Kuşadası, Ephesus, Pamukkale and Antalya. You will have an opportunity to visit the Temple of Artemis, famous Roman baths, Grand Theater, and House of the Virgin Mary as well. Furthermore, you will witness the UNESCO heritage site of Pamukkale, which is also named or known as Katun Castle, with wonderful snow with travertines. And the accommodation will be at the Pearl of Mediterranean again in Antalya, and you will be treated with all inclusive concepts. Again, we have an early bird, still going on till one more week, till 17th of June. It's 300. 45 euro per person. So let's uh, let's come to our destination wedding award ceremony. You know, as I mentioned, we did a change regarding the award dates after cost during the pandemic. In continuation of the fam trips, we decided to organize a world destination wedding awards in Antalya between the dates of 11th to 13th of September. The award program will be held on 12th of September in Antalya. And by 7 p.m., the, the, there will be the destination wedding award ceremony reception, and the winners will be declared open, and we will present the awards to the winners. And as from 9 p.m., we will have a gala dinner served and you will be an overnight in Antalya. Here, uh, if you are going to participate in this award ceremony, you will have a very great, good opportunity to promote your business to the world. For example, you may be chosen either the best wedding planner or best wedding photographer. Please do not, remember, please do not forget that we do have 16 award categories. Each wedding professional could give their nominee up to three categories, which is still free of charge now. By the way, our colleague Mrs. Camilla will send you a detailed info about the award ceremony later. So you can see how to register the award category programs uh, here we have done some beneficial screenshots for you. You need to click the candidates or water and fill all necessary details in order to complete your registration. You can uh, put your nominee, nominee as per three categories. We have 16 categories. So let's go to host the buyer statuses. How to register as a hosted buyer? So, let's clarify some important questions coming from many hosted buyers regarding their statuses. We have three different statuses, fully hosted, semi-hosted, and regular hosted. For example, if you would like to apply as a fully hosted buyer, your status will be determined. We will present your status to the Turkish tourism authorities, and your status will be determined and confirmed along with the Turkish tourism authorities' decision after evaluating your personal and business background that written on your account. So again, it's not up to us. The Turkish Tourism Authority are deciding with us as well. So please do not forget 
to fulfill all necessary information mentioned on your account, such as your social media accounts like LinkedIn, Instagram, are more important in order to be eligible as fully hosted buyer. And you can see how to register as hosted buyer. We do have a link, of course, workshopshop.com. Um, I can also share this presentation with you, no worries. Also, you can uh, send your email address uh, to, to this uh, Zoom chat. Uh, I will be glad to send you later. <clears throat> These screenshots also show the hospital pay registration step by step with the website link. So, first of all, you need to sign up and fulfill all necessary information mentioned on the system. Then, you are required to log in again on your account and select the destination wedding event by settling the payments in order to complete your registration. Here you can see the steps for the step one. First of all, you need to select the event. Then uh, you need to choose that in which fan trip or four day conference you would like to select. Then you need to go to the payment part in order to complete your registration. So again, uh, another important question during the pandemic, when you look at the terms and conditions parts, as you may see, your registration is fully refundable under force majeure conditions and also if requested could be credited to use for our upcoming events as well. So finally when we look at the end you will not lose any money. So please register us up because we have very limited places right now. So this is our uh, new one and great news for you. The Turkish Airlines uh, has a, made us a very great offer, a very exclusive offer. And uh, if you would like to book your international ticket from now, uh, you can book it uh, from our website link. Here you can see the link and register as a delegate. You will be you will uh, benefit up to twenty five percentage discount for all international flight tickets. Of course, it's changing to up to, up to the destinations, but again, I think this is a really great opportunity that the Turkish Airlines has given us. So do not forget that even if you haven't selected as fully hosted buyer, and this is still a great opportunity for you. So uh, thanks to listening to me, you can contact with me from my mobile phone number as below for any questions. And please do not forget to follow us on our social media accounts. You can look at and follow all latest announcements there. So I will give the stage to Mr. Mutaza Kalendaj. Then I will continue with the lucky draw at the end after taking your questions. Thank you so much, Mr. Mutaza. Thank you, Özge, for a great presentation. You did a very good job. I really appreciate it. And uh, I have a, we have a couple of chapter heads here. They would like to say a few words. Uh, Warren, are you, are you online? Uh, can you please unmute yourself? Yeah, thank you, brother. Then how are you doing? Very good, very good. Everybody is very excited, the Indian wedding. What's going on in India, brother? Yeah, actually, I want to share, even though it was a lockdown and pandemic situation was going, there was ups and downs somewhere. But uh, for me, last uh, year, 2020, uh, we have did uh, some 19 weddings, uh, especially destination weddings in the south part. Uh, of India. So basically in Kerala, we have did uh, some- This year I mean, you did, sorry, you did wedding uh, this year? No, uh, this year we have done, but majorly we have done on 2020 December. Ah, okay. And, 
uh, so uh, that graph once i compare with 20 to, uh, 21 and 2020 it was more so this year also we could do uh, but here and there less and that is intimate weddings only we have done uh, so now people are coming back to normal and uh, we are um, more preferring pe people to take vaccinations so that way we wanted to keep the people uh, more safer etc i see so I hoping see. that industry is coming back and uh, now probably i'm getting more inquiries so july i have inquiries for third and fourth uh, so po possibly like the market is opening up so there is a hope coming and even uh, i have my colleague uh, srikant kanoi here so he can uh, better uh, sure explain. i will come to him yes sure i will come to him you know uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah let me ask another question uh, there are any waiting inquiry to another destination in terms of only india uh, as of now, brother, actually, uh, internationally, people have cut down the travel. And even I used to do a lot of uh, NRI weddings, uh, which were coming to India. So now the scenario is that is cutting down to domestic. Okay. So uh, mostly we do from UAE. Uh, that was uh, the good market for us. Like who, they will do more in uh, South region. So now what happens, like we are getting inquiries for UAE even. So uh, we have a division there. So we are trying to do uh, in a domestic manner. So that is what current scenario, but uh, this will change and people will start moving. So all this will uh, happen. So we want uh, that vaccination to go faster so that uh, people are more used to that new normal. And uh, anyway, events will not stop. Events travel, uh, nothing will stop. Uh, we need to be positive. We need to uh, stay uh, happy. So uh, that way we are thinking. And even I am, I am more happy to be part of IADWP and I wanted to make this event a grand success so that we are exchanging ideas how to plan further, how we can bring people to Turkey. So all those things matters, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Let, thank me, you, thank you. Yeah, let me go to Alison, uh, our UAK chapter at. Let's see what's going on in UAK, London, or all over the UK. Hello, Alison. Hello. Um, well, we are due to be getting an announcement on Monday as to what's going to be happening here from the point of view of weddings. Uh, we are due to be moving to unrestricted weddings on the 21st of June. Um, however, we are um, at the moment um, looking at the possibility, sadly, of a third wave. Um, and we're not expecting the unrestricted opening that we have been promised for months. So should have been the 21st of June. It's looking unlikely. We're waiting to hear um, on Monday. Uh, we've got the G7 summit being hosted in England at the moment. So uh, most politicians are fairly tied up with that. Um, we do also have, unfortunately, very significant restrictions on travel here. Um, we have a traffic light system, green, amber and red. Um, if you, you have to self-isolate or go into a quarantine hotel, if you visit any country uh, that's on anything other than the green list, um, there is pretty well nowhere on the green list. Um, Turkey, sadly, for example, at the moment is on the red list which means you have to pay to be quarantined in a hotel for 10 days. So at the moment, sadly, um, we're being told not to travel at all um, until further notice. Uh, not very helpful, not very cheerful, but I think the strategy of the UK government seems to be to finally shut our borders so that weddings can reopen within the UK. Hope that's helpful, sort of. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, now let's go to United States. Jenny Jaffer, can you please unmute? Hello. Hello Jenny. You see, India, they do domestic. England will start uniting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going on in the United States? Well, actually, I am I'm in Illinois outside Chicago. And as of tomorrow, the entire state is fully open. So things will be completely back to normal. There will be no limits on any weddings or events. Um, as far as the other states, 
everyone is different, but the majority are completely open as well. Um, so people are seeing des or locations sell out. Um, and because of that, brides are coming to me looking for destination weddings because before it might have been postponed, but now they just don't have availability anywhere. Wow. So I think that will be a great business for, for all of us as more people are, are moving to destination weddings as well. But mm -hmm. it is nice to see that things are reopening. And as far as the United States, you have to have your negative tests to come back, come into this um, country at this point, whether you're vaccinated or not. So that also opens up um, availability for people to come here. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Let's go to India again, the Srikan Kanai. Hello. My congratulations to you, Mr. Murtaza, for an, another amazing Zoom session. Always an informative session, always lovely to be here. Thank you so much, Osge, for doing such a lovely presentation. And a very warm welcome and a namaste to all of you from India, everyone who mm -hmm. out here. We are having an amazing time in India because there's not much work. So most of us are relaxing, taking time off, apart from the many, many busy years of hard work which we have been doing. But yes, now it started hitting us and now we need to get back into action. Small weddings, as Varun had said, are happening. A few big weddings are also happening. Uh, people are trying to bend the rules. They are taking three halls in a hotel and 50 per hall. So they are having 150, 200 guests coming in. But as and when uh, a virus strikes in a wedding party, then the entire uh, message which goes across in the media is not a very positive one. 15th of uh, this month is when Bangalore is supposed to open from the lockdown, but unfortunately what the government is predicting is the third wave is about to touch India in the month of August, September, which will probably hit the younger generation in a bigger way. Weddings, people are still, they want to go out and party. You, I mean, as soon as the day, uh, as soon as the lockdown opens, you see everyone on the street. The coronavirus is also pretty excited to see everyone on the street so that it can go back to into everyone. But we need to go slow. We need to understand the situation. India is doing amazing work by coming under lockdown and we have beaten the wave. We have started seeing a lot of reduction the last couple of weeks. We are optimistic. We are optimistic that number one, India will open up. Number two, the international borders will open up. Number three, the big guys, the big event guys, the big parties, the ones who really want to go out and party, they all are waiting. They all are waiting for the virus to take a downturn and they all are wanting to go out and party. So it's a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Maybe, maybe uh, November, December may not happen. Maybe January, February may not happen. But June, July, August next year or uh, uh, November, December next year is 100% that we are going to have a lovely time. You know, you see, uh, Warren already mentioned the, the domestic already started. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The domestic never stopped. Uh, the, the smaller weddings, the intimate weddings, home weddings, uh, 50 packs weddings in the hotels, that always continued even during the lockdown. Uh, during, during the, the lockdown, uh, even during the lockdown, uh, 20 packs to 50 packs weddings were always happening. And uh, it's just in between, we had three or four months of the India opening up. Everyone went all out. Again, we saw a surge in the number of cases. But again, we are back into a lockdown mode. But weddings have been happening through and through. Yeah. What we call an intimate wedding has been happening. Uh, the requirement, the, uh, the requirements have changed. People have started now looking into the hybrid mode of weddings, wherein uh, physical and virtual presence are equally necessary for a wedding going forward. But we yeah. all are very optimistic in India. In India, there's so many people who are waiting to get married. It's a matter of time. It's, you really can't take away. I mean, Indians and celebrations, they just go together. You cannot take it away from us. Uh, to be honest, a lot of people asking me the Indian wedding when they started because everybody is excited Indian wedding because a really big volume and the money talk. <laughs> yeah, 100. In fact, we had a wedding in 2019 in Antalya, one of the most amazing weddings we have come across. It was Not only uh, Turkey, all around the world. Uh, all right, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Let me go to Sri Lanka, Kevin Bishop. Kevin? Hi, Murti, how are you? Good, mate. Good day. Good day. 
Yeah, and Aussie in Sri Lanka. Um, same, same here in Sri Lanka. I mean, we're still in lockdown. Yeah, so uh, we've been in lockdown for six weeks now. This time, this time. So um, uh, we're hoping that they open up on uh, Monday. Is where we're we're getting the heads up. But um, whilst we're not as bad as um, what's been happening in India, it's still um you know tracking like a number of cases every day quite a, a considerable number every day so we're we're just um waiting for it to open we're in touch with a lot of the hotels um to see and uh the boutique hotels and hotel and villas and everything because that's what i'm looking at is potential for intimate weddings um coming inbound here as well and uh they they are um still you know, uh, take waiting for the government to, uh, to see how they go. So we're, we're hopeful that uh, we're, we're starting to get vaccinations out here, which is good. Um, so they're starting to scale up the vaccinations. And I think they've been asking for the US government and the UK government and whatever other governments for assistance as well. So hopefully we'll get some of that happening as well. Um, so we can uh, get, pe get people vaccinated here as well. So yeah, so that's a slow situation here at the moment. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Please say that. Uh, maybe we will receive the questions later on. Uh, I think Faria Kiano. Can you please unmute yourself, Faria? Hi. Um, I came in late, so I'm sorry if I'm this question already answered. Um, the question was, my question is like, um, the last time when I was there, there were some challenges with traffic from the airport uh, to, you know, Istanbul hotels. Like, you know, we were using um, the Four Seasons and stuff like that. Have that changed quite a bit or what security measures are you taking uh, for group arrival? You mean in Turkey? Yes. I mean, uh, can you please tell me where are you coming from? Uh, New York, New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey. Uh, from New Jersey, I think uh, you don't need to PCR test if you if you get vacancy vacancy situation. Okay. And uh, Turkey is now the open for the tourism. I mean, Turkey never closed for the tourist destination. Uh, just they closed the last year between March to June. Then we never closed. All our hotels open. All our clubs, bars, restaurants open. Uh, and Turkish Airlines, I think, already flying to Chicago mm -hmm. or uh, some destination in the uh, United States. Yeah. And uh, we, at the moment, we may request the PCR test uh, 72 hours before you fly to Turkey. Okay. The rather than if everything's open, Turkey is not a lockdown. Now, are, are there um, testing stations at the airport? No, you don't need the vaccination at the airport. If you have already, but the, or you we can do only PCR test, but not at the airport. You need to do before you fly, seventy-two okay. hours before you fly. Okay, okay, you but know. is there because some airports in in Europe, you know, they have testing stations that let's say that if they don't have that, if they don't have the negative test, um, are you offering that at the airport? No, if Some, you are positive. You know, he will take you to uh, government, take you to a quarantine hotel. Uh, they ah, okay. provide that free of charge. Okay. 14 okay. days. Yeah. No, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, uh, we have just uh, experienced uh, our previous event. One of our uh, buyers from Pakistan, uh, before he fly uh, 72 hours, he did the PCR test. It was uh, positive. After 48 hours, we check again, it's come negative, you know, then uh, he flies straight away to Pakistan via Istanbul. Okay. And we arrange to the hotel accommodation. If we said you, you want to book your own accommodation, I mean, we can help also like that. Understand? But if you have someone, if you don't have any contact, they provide the accommodation. If you're a partner colleague here, they can also provide you the uh, quarantine hotels. For you. I have two more questions if I can. Um, what about the mask requirement? 
Is it mandatory? Or? We have to do right now the math. Okay, and now what is the group, the largest group that you can accept at a wedding, like 50 or 150 and? 50% uh, capacity is the room capacity. They don't have a okay. number. If you have a ballroom, let's say the 1,000, but you are only allowed to do the 500. Okay. Okay. Like that. That answers the question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me go to uh, Kamal Zoid. Can you please make unmute yourself, Travis? Yeah. Hi, Murtaza. Hi. Namaste, sir. Namaste. How about you? First class, first class, thank you. Yes, please, brother. So uh, do you, when, when, when is Turkish starting flying from India? Do you have any idea? Yes, I believe the 30th of uh, June, uh, they scheduled their plan to fly to India. But uh, I'm not sure because they always fly it, but the on the schedule, as much as I know, uh, 30th of the July, uh, for June, they are planning to fly to India, Mumbai and Delhi. Is there any specific requirement of for Indian to come to Turkey? Any quarantine or what all is required? Yes, 14 days quarantine for Indians or if anybody come from India to Turkey. 14 days quarantine? Yes. My question in that case would be since I have uh, uh, what you call uh, opted for your upcoming event. event. Yeah. So yep. what would be in my case would be like uh, coming to Turkey 14 days prior to the event would be a big problem. Uh, I totally <laughs> agree with you, but I believe the quarantine will be till maybe the end of June or the beginning of July. You know, okay. I think later on, you know, uh, they will, you know, take it out that, you know, conditions. It's not okay. fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. Maybe hopefully they come back to the same RT-PCR test or any any any option for fully vaccinated people? Uh, but the, uh, I, I have no idea, but only the who's coming from the, uh, India. Do you understand mm. what I mean? It's not mandatory with vaccination or, mm. you know, PCR test. But compulsory 14 days quarantine. Yes. Thank you uh, very worst, much. Worst scenario is you will stay in my home. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, what a great great friend I always like your hospitality when I'm in Turkey thank always you. looking forward to meet you thank you thank you Kamala. thank you all, all the very best for the event Murtada. thank you let's go to Suhaila uh, Lam King can you please unmute uh, yourself good morning Hi. good morning to you and good evening to India Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, I just wanted some clarification. So I would be coming from Canada. Um, and I just wanted to know, is there an expectation, whether you're attending the trade show or the FAMS, that you have to be fully vaccinated? No, you can come with PCR test also. Okay. Uh, no need it. Yeah. So there's no requirement for vaccination. We just need to show a negative. We, it, so the negative test is just, um, is it required to show at the trade show and the FAM or just to get into Turkey? Just get into Turkey, only the okay. flight, yeah? Okay. In Turkey, we will take care of you, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you for clarifying. Thank and you. are there any restrictions for Canadians? Not at all. Thank you, thank you. Thank let you. Me, let me go to... Uh, Elivi, Maria from Togo. Elivi, can you please unmute yourself? Yes. Hello, Mr. Kalenda. Uh, hello. So what's going on in Togo? Uh, any quarantine, oh. any lockdown? Please give us any good news to give us motivation, motivation yes. in the world. Yeah, Togo, good news for us now. There is no restriction, no, uh, uh, there is nothing just that you have to do the test, uh, the uh, how do you call it? The test to be negative and then you can travel. There are uh, uh, tra uh, uh, international travel, 
are taking place, no problem. Without vaccination, only you have to show that uh, a negative test, that's all, you ah, can travel. Good. And okay. even also are taking place over here, but they are more domestically. Ah, that's good, so, that's good. Yeah, that's the good news in Togo. Thank you. Anybody wants to speak? You know, I can go to Mr. Komar Modi, uh, my sister and brother, original Indians. <laughs> Please unmute yourself, Mr. Kumar. Uh, by the way, Erge, uh, can you please remind uh, what we have, like it draws? Yes, for sure. Uh, we have uh, four lucky draw questions for four lucky participants at the end. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, Mr. Murtaza, uh, Mrs. Tamilla also uh, would like to make a presentation regarding the award ceremony if we have time. Okay, when she's ready, we can do that uh, after the Mr. Kumar uh, speech. Yes, please, Mr. Okay. Kumar. My friend, uh, Calendar, I really appreciate the attempt you are doing, but we have a technical glitch. I'm in Sweden, and from Sweden, we have to catch a flight from Denmark, Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, they are very strict about the test and this thing. In case anything comes, because I got two doses of vaccine for yeah. COVID in February and March, but my final fate decide in Denmark while they take the test and if it comes normal or negative, then I can proceed. <laughs> Mr. Kumar, please uh, get a nice Swiss chocolate over the Turkish island and fly directly there. We have already 40 chapter head, especially wedding chapter head. We all love the Swiss chocolate. Am I right, Alison? I will bring the chocolate and a Danish beer. <laughs> okay. And Danish cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks and appreciate. Thank you very much, thank you. Uh, are you ready, uh, Pamela? Anybody wants to, yeah, okay, she's ready. She's young, beautiful and smart bird. She's gonna do the presentation of our, our ceremony in Antalya. Let's start. That's, Pamela? Yeah, yes. Hello. And we, later on, we will do the lucky draw. Thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we do. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Pamela. I hope you are having a great week. So today, uh, I'm going to share you information about our wedding event. So let's start now. Wow. World Destination Wedding and Romance Travel Awards. Wedding mm -hmm. Awards is a Mexico based professional platform that allows various professional experts and legal entities um, operating uh, I'm sorry, in the wedding sector to be evaluated and rated by presenting their work in their field to an international respected selection committee consisting of members with well-known experience and knowledge in the sector. The main foundation purpose of the platform is to inspire all individual and legal entities operating in the wedding sector to creative and original work, to inspire each of them to develop professional in their own fields, to increase their rec uh, recognition at the international level and to make them reach an international competitive levels. Our categories, uh, the best wedding venues, dresses, honeymoon room designs, photographers, videos, etc. These all wedding awards were uh, determined and rewarded in the 2020 fund. Uh, we have 16 different categories you can see uh, on the presentation now. Uh, so, what will be the benefits of the wedding awards? The foundation sets you apart from the others in this competitive market because everyone is looking for ways to stay ahead of the competition. Wedding awards offer you the opportunity to be chosen as the best in the world. This international award will add a bonus to your company. Wedding awards is an international event and has a weekly traffic of uh, 98,000 online visitors on website. Currently, we have candidates from 30 countries of the world. I'm sorry. 
uh, is a great way to connect the network in the wedding industry from meeting photographers to makeup artists, venues to groups. No other businesses that are candidates for uh, about creative relationships and strategic alliances that can be perfect for you and your businesses. This even will provide you with a certificate that will provide you with global awareness and web of social media advertisement will be provided in the finalist or winners 2021 section. A very unique method of judgment ensures that all of candidates from all smallest to the largest are evaluated equal. Uh, it's first to mention that the registration is free. Uh, or reverse rules. So, normally, as per our regulation, top five candidates who have got votes from the public have been expected to make a presentation to jury. Due to the pandemic, we will not uh, request any presentation from any candidate to be presented to jury. We will give the destination wedding awards to the top five candidates from 16 different categories who got the highest vote from the public. Candidates will be able to register and voting process will continue online until 10 August 2021. Subsequent votes will not be accepted and finalists will be announced on, um, on 20 August. First of all, I would like to inform you that the false information and non-original documents will not be accepted. Candidates will not be accepted to gain votes without answering the question and complete, uh, completing the registration for the categories they have registered for. And uh, the winners will be announced at the gala presentation to be held in Ontario. Uh, and vote, vote process. Online nomination and voting is free, but uh, this can only be done once per each voter. Repeated nomination or votes will be disqualified and the candidate will be removed from the bidding awards process if other action are found to be intentional or fraud. So, awards program. I would like to inform that uh, due to the pandemic condition, uh, the date of the award ceremony and some rules as stated above have been changing. So, our award ceremony to be held on 11 to 13 September 2021 at the city of Antalya. Our program, uh, first day arrival day in Antalya, second day uh, award ceremony, and there will be destination wedding award ceremony reception at 9, uh, I'm sorry, 7 p.m. Gala dinner will be served at 9 p.m. and third day uh, end of the award ceremony. At the end of our presentation, I would like to explain how you can uh, join our event. In order for you uh, to participate in our contest, uh, contest, you need to register on our website about this nation ratings about.com. You can register for free in a maximum of three categories uh, from 16 categories. So, Thank you, thank you for your participation and interest. We will uh, we look forward to see you at our award ceremony. And uh, we have a pop quiz at the end. Good luck everyone in advance. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tamila, for a great presentation. I really, I really appreciate it. Uh, anybody have a question or anybody want to speak? Uh, please let me know here. Uh, just put the hands on the screen show. Yeah. Uh, Elge, please make the please ready for the lucky draws because I uh, nobody have a question. Uh, let's see the, who's the winner today. Mi Milan, would you like to say something today, Mr. Milan? Please unmute yourself before she's ready. I think Anur there, Anur Sharma. Anur, can you please unmute yourself? Yes. I agree. Hello, Anur. Uh, I have just a small query. Uh, Anand, how, let, how, let me call after Anur because very close name. Let's go to Anur Sharma, then after Anand, TG. <laughs> yes, so, uh, how do we uh, get the? I have an uh, wedding expected uh, for the month of uh, August or uh, September. Or so. 
If we are ready for the lucky draw, four people will get free registration for destination wedding event and camp trip for our September event. So one second, please. I forget to open the chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> I open it. Okay. I open it. I open it. Okay, so then let's start with the first difficult question. Which year the IADWP was founded? Wow. Okay, a lot of messages coming right now. We are trying to find the first person. Okay, just a second. Who's the winner? You see everybody open their cam. Yeah. Okay, uh, the lucky person is Zayem Moti. Zayem Moti, yeah. Okay. Can, can you hear me by the way? Maybe if he or she want to say something. Yes, uh, yes. Please let me know here. Zayem Moti, where are you? <laughs> can you please show hand? on the screen. Zayen Moktisham, sorry for the pronunciation. Zayen Moktisham. Okay, maybe she, he or she will come later on. Let's start the second uh, question. Okay, so let's skip the second question. Where will the IADWP Eurasia event take place? So I'm talking about the Eurasia events, destination wedding events. That's easy question, yeah? <laughs> yeah, very easy question. <laughs> so we found the winner, Sirikan Kaloi. <laughs> <laughs> He's our chapter ahead. He's already here. <laughs> He's like, Thank you oh, so much. Oh, that was easy one. <laughs> just a second. Oh. I'm sorry, just a second. <laughs> Sirikan, you are winning from my side, don't worry. <laughs> I love it, I love that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sirikan. <laughs> no, no, that's oh, perfectly fine. No, no, no, no, the, the correct person is Denise George Neval. Denise, would you like to say something? I think she's already... Congratulations. Denise, I think I already saw here. Denise, hi. Would you like to say something, Denise? Nothing to say, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, then. Okay, let's start. Oh, okay, so let's keep the third question. Write at least one category of the... Ah, she's here, Denise, one second. Then it's oh, okay. Yeah. Would you like to speak? Yes, please. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you guys? It's You're so fine. nice to be connected to the world every time we have one of these uh, meetings and Zoom calls. <laughs> wow, um, your background is. Then really today, great. today you are lucky. <laughs> then it's today lucky. I hope your rest of life is lucky again all the time. I hope so. I'm sure. I'm sure this will lead to more uh, lucky things. Maybe today I play the lottery. <laughs> When people touch my arms, they get big luck. Yeah. And you did. <laughs> okay, there you go. So hopefully I'll see you September 6th. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Evge? Okay, our third question. Write at least one category of the IADWP awards this year. How many categories we have? And the winner is Shatanya Gojam Gunde. Please correct me if I uh, did something wrong with your name.
Is that correct? Evge? Yes, exactly. The winner is Shafanya Gojangunde. Would you like to say something, Shafanya? Not online yet, I think, yeah? Okay, let's ask the four questions. Okay, the final question, the difficult one again. Which airline company did a very special discount for international flights? Wow, everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> So who is the first? Sanje de Mark. Who? San Sanje. Sanje, de... would you like to say something, my brother? Sanje de Mark. Hi. Hi, namaste, Sanje. Namaskar, namaskar. I've been listening to you all. It's been indeed a pleasure to have you all here again. I'm sorry, my video is not really clear. Okay, uh, but, no problem. Congratulations, Sanjay. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Very good. Uh, okay, let's ask, you know, one more lucky job, you know, by us. Yeah, but the winner should be the camps open. Otherwise, you know, we will ask you again the different questions. Okay. Okay. All maybe, right. Maybe we can ask the question is the uh, capital of Turkey or maybe let's ask. Uh, what is the capital of Turkey? What is the capital of Turkey? The famous question. What is the capital yeah. of Turkey? But winner should be the camp open. Yeah, I think so. It's not Istanbul for sure. Not at all. <laughs> oh, the winner, I'm checking to the, if the camp is open or not. I'm just checking. Ankara! Uh, you give Kobe, bro, but too late. <laughs> Martin Azamek, but the camp is not open. <laughs> Who? Martin Azamek. But camp is not open. Hello, Martin. I think the other pillar is pillar. Are you there? Pillar. Hi, pillar. Pillar D Alva. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hello, Pilar. How are you? Hello, how are you? Pilar is our head office. Uh, would you like to say something, Pilar? Well, thank you very much for this presentation. We hope to see you all there in Istanbul. And I am happy to see you all today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have also a Canadian friend here, Naida. Hi, everyone. Uh, how is Canada? Yeah, it's good. Fortunately, they are opening up and that is very good. Everybody is get, taking the second vaccine very soon. Uh, and I think um, now the people who have got it till April 18th, they are going to have their second dose, which is very good. Thank and you. everybody is super happy. You can thank feel you. it going outside. Yeah. yeah everybody happy with me, you know, Naida. Don't, don't forget You are me. more design. <laughs> I'm sure everybody loves you. Because of your character Thank and the you. way that you are just connecting all these people. I like the way that you're just going from this destination to there and talking, having people to talk. That is great. Yeah, that's really good. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Cynthia, I was the winner of Turkish, but you didn't put me. I want to come. So check the replies. You are winner anyway. I'll check it out. Okay, don't worry. Murti is here. When people I touch Murti, they are winners already. Uh, okay, please check it. You know, if she's answered, we can give tickets. No worries. For sure. I'm going to recheck it. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, great. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cynthia. Hello. Uh, how are you? How, how are the United States, your area? It's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Everything's starting to open back up. There's uh, hope inside. <laughs> thank you. Looking forward to see here. I just saw you registered. Oh, me too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody My bags say... are packed. Thank you. Oh, looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Anybody want to say something before I close the, our session? Uh, please let me know. Then, uh, brother, the... brother, I have one question to you. Yes, please, Varun. Uh, which country maximum people are attending the event? So now, right now, right now, the meeting, 
I think from India we have most people attending, so we will be coming there. Uh, that's good. That's good. You see, Cynthia, next time I'm expecting more Americans. <laughs> yes, yes, we will do it in India next time. For sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, guys. Lovely to see you here. Let's put the old camp open, then we can say goodbye to each other. Please open to everybody the camp. Saria, please come on, everybody. Thank you, guys. Season our pillar finally opened. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, guys. <laughs>